now adjourn. I call the honourable member for Fairfax. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. It was published today in the Australian newspaper that the Melbourne Institute's most recent household survey had the people of Brisbane experiencing the second longest commute in the country. This is the first time that Brisbane came in second, behind Sydney, of course, uh, but before Melbourne. And it is reflective of not only the pressure of an increased population on Queensland's capital city, but also on the southeast corner of Queensland. Now, we know that the population trajectory has Queensland uh, growing enormously over the years ahead. And in southeast Queensland, the projections are that the population will reach around about 6.3 million people by 2050. 6.3 million people. A challenge, therefore, for all governments is to have infrastructure catch up with the population curve and ideally get ahead of the population curve. Now, we know, thanks to the strong economy of this Morrison government, we're doing our bit. We know that the forward estimates over the next four years alone, about $9.7 billion will be spent in Queensland. And we know that it will be going to vitally important infrastructure, in particular roads and rail. We also know, unfortunately, Deputy Speaker, that a challenge we have is the Queensland State Labor government and their complete absence of an understanding of infrastructure. Now, this is sad. We know the reason. It's no secret. Um, they don't know how to run the economy. They don't have money, and therefore they can't spend. But it means that even the plans that we have to bust the congestion within the southeast corner of our state is being held back, because a lot of the major projects are actually on roads that are owned by the state, on rail projects owned by the state, that the federal government is making a serious financial contribution to. Now, we have to just keep fighting the good fight as much as we can, Deputy Speaker, even though we're the ones that are carrying the load. Now, the, the, the Infrastructure New South Wales team um, did a, an analysis recently that compared the spend on infrastructure of different states and territories. And the House would be interested to know that the conclusion they reached was that there is no state or territory that is spending less on infrastructure as a percentage of their revenue than the state of Queensland. Bar none. So as good a, an apples-to-apples apples comparison you can get, no state government spends less on infrastructure than Queensland. Now, there is hope, Deputy Speaker. Of course, there's hope that next October, where there's an election, the people of Queensland um, will finally say no to the Labor government and we will have an LNP government in town. But there's also hope because we need to ensure that we are working on long-term solutions also, Deputy Speaker. And there are three things that we're working on right now, and they're things that we actually need to work together with the state government and the SEQ councillor mayors. One, we have a city deal. A statement of intent was signed earlier this year between the federal government, the Queensland state government and the SEQ Council of Mayors for a 20-year vision to be mapped out for the southeast corner of the state and for that vision to articulate key major projects, including amongst them infrastructure. The second um, work stream is an Olympic bid for the 2032 Olympics. Here again, we must see the three tiers of government working as one team. It is the only way that we can prosecute that case. Three, fast rail. There are three business cases currently underway. One from the Sunshine Coast to Brisbane, another one Gold Coast to Brisbane that is soon to begin, and uh, the third um, Toowoomba through Ipswich to Brisbane. We need those three business cases to come together as an SEQ fast rail network. With those three components being pulled together, Deputy Speaker, city deal, Olympic bid and SEQ fast rail network, 
We can plan for the long future as three tiers of government while we try to get the short-term stuff done. Order. It being 